Hey guys, here's a little behind the scenes video for all of you who love off-roading. As you know, we've got a new off, well, newish off-road channel and Alex, my man over there, is about to take our Polaris Scrambler XPS 1000. That's a big, uh, that's a big motor <laughs> to take it for review over at iMy Motorsports. But we thought, you know, why put it on a trailer when you could load it up onto our long-term Silverado? Except there's an issue. And that is, well, two inches. That is how much room there is between the bed and the size of the Polaris. So we're gonna try to load it onto the truck. We've never done this before. Uh, and Alex, you've done the measuring. Why don't you show them? Yeah, so come on over here. Um, this machine's pretty special. It's the only long travel 55 inch wide ATV on the market. So this is as wide as it's gonna get for an ATV. Uh, Polaris says 55 inches, but if you actually take a tape measure to it, you're looking more about like 56, 57. So there's our width on that. And then here's kind of the widest or the narrowest point coming through the tailgate. And that is right at about 59 inches. Uh, and we're even shorter between the wheel wells. So we've got about an inch to spare on either side and then we're gonna have to run over the wheel wells. But we wanted to try it because I figure a lot of people shopping for one of these machines might not have a giant trailer, they might just have a truck. So um, pretty practical if it works. Yeah, and, and you know, luckily we have a giant trailer, but there's a whole, well, rigmarole to do when you're actually loading it up onto the trailer. First, you gotta hook up the trailer, then you gotta make sure all the lights work. And then this trailer that we have can basically tow. Uh, 10,000 pounds something it's a 3,000 pound trailer so it's a little overkill for an ATV and uh, with these uh, foldable ramps this is a much easier yet more butt clenchy way of getting the scrambler to wherever you're trying to take it so put on your helmet Alex yeah. let's give it a shot and just for all you guys watching I've never loaded an ATV before I've done plenty of motorcycles but this is my first ATV so let's see how it goes And hopefully uh, this won't turn into one of those bloopers reels, uh, Alex. So let's hope. <laughs> let's hope. That's the hope. That's the hope. All Looking on the back wheels. Oh, yeah, plenty of room. Plenty of room. Perfect. Nice. And you, you didn't even have to really go over the uh, wheel wells, right? No, a little bit. I mean, if you take a peek in here, one of them kind of pushed to the side, the other one ran over it. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty tight fit, but definitely doable. Yeah, this is this is a classic, you know, five and a half foot full size truck bed. Uh, so if it's you a short bed. Short bed, yeah. If you had a if you had a longer bed, if you had like a heavy duty truck with a six and a half foot bed, then you could probably actually close the uh, right. tailgate. Uh, but we'll just strap it down and, you know, it looked pretty painless. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah, all you need is, you know, a truck, uh, two ramps, and an Alex. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, and guys, stay tuned. Uh, Alex is taking this over to our friends at IMI Motorsports to do a full review. Uh, so that's coming soon uh, to TFL Off-Road. And as always, this is Roman. And Alex. Saying thanks for watching. And by the way, check out our new TFL bike channel where, what's the news today, Alex? New MT-07, yeah. new sport bike news. New Yamaha, so check that out as well. Uh, and that's going up uh, any time now. So see you guys next time. Ciao.